Hello friends. We will learn something very new today. Things around us and they are categories as living and non-living things. Look at our beautiful green planet Earth. How beautiful it looks, right? It has so many things. And what can we call those things? Have you ever thought that? We can call them either living things or non-living things. So, all the things around us can be categorized into living things and non-living things. Let's dig more into living things. What are living things? Living things are those which have life. They have life unit that is called cell. Let's see some characteristics of living things. Living things can grow and develop with time. See how beautifully this plant is growing and the flower is blossoming. Living things can move on their own. The way you move, I move, animals move. We all are living things and we are moving on our own. Living things can also reproduce. That means they can make their own kinds. See the duck with the ducklings? Also living things have senses and they respond properly to their environment. So in case if you touch something hot, what do you do? You immediately take away your hand, right? That means you are responding to your environment and you have sense. Living things also have capability to excrete. They have proper metabolism and they digest their food and take out the waste from their body. Living things have needs for survival like water, air, food. We need food, right? We need air and water also. Same way plants and animals also have need those. Living things are mortal. That means they have a proper life span and life cycle. We do have that. A cute butterfly also do have that. Living things can respire and exchange gases. We breathe in oxygen and take out carbon dioxide. Same way animals do and also plants. So we learned about what are living things. Living things are the ones that have life. Now let's see what could be non-living things. Non-living things are the ones those do not have life. They are lacking the life unit that is cell. So anything that doesn't have life is non-living thing. Now we'll see some of the characteristics of non-living things. They do not grow and develop over time. Have you ever seen book growing? No, right? That is a non-living thing. Non-living things cannot move on their own. Have you ever seen cup and saucer moving on their own? No, not at all. But do not confuse it with fan or remote cars or anything which is moving on electricity. It doesn't mean that they are moving on their own. They are taking help of man-made things, right? So they still are non-living things. 
non living things do not have capability to reproduce they cannot make their own kinds like mountain mountain doesn't give baby they cannot make mountain by themselves also they cannot sense and respond to environment also non living things do not have proper metabolism or any digestive system so they do not excrete also non living things do not have needs for survival like water air food have you ever seen table eating something no because it is a non living thing non living things are immortal when i say immortal that means they do not have their life cycle car may get broken and it can be repaired but it doesn't mean that car has a life cycle right non living things do not respire and exchange gases because they do not have life so we learn that non living things are the things that do not have life right now non living things can further be categorized under two one is natural non living things and the other one is man made non living things let's see some examples we all know that water is natural but it is a non living thing same way our sun mountain and soil so water sun mountain soil they all are natural but at the same time they are non living things also now let's see some examples of man made non living things clock it is made by man television truck house clock television truck house they all are man made things and they all are non living things so there are two types of non living things one is natural the other one is man made let's once again see how the things around us are categorized they are broadly categorized between living things and non living things further non living things are categorized between natural things and man made things so the key points to remember are all living things are natural things all man made things are non living things and natural things can be both living like plant or non living like mountain in case you have to ask yourself whether a particular thing is living thing or non living thing you may go ahead and ask this questions to yourself does it grow does it move on its own does it respire does it reproduce does it respond to environment does it excrete has a life cycle has needs like food water air if the answer to all these questions come as yes that means it is a living thing and if the answer comes no that means it is a non living thing so simple right i hope you learned a lot from this video and understood the basic concept of living and non living things 
along with their categorizations right i would request you to kindly like watch and subscribe to kids funzy laugh and learn so that you do not miss out on any of these wonderful educational videos for now thank you and have a nice day